Hey, welcome back, guys. This is Bo Not Here. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. So we made it out of the sewers. The Onigi, the, the gangster from Sewers managed to escape. And, um, what's her name? Is it, oh, yeah, Kuruchan. Ran away. So now I'm by myself. Let's do it. I have to finally do my business and refresh it a bit. I exit the bathroom to find out I'm in the restaurant. Huh? Uh, I... Can I help you? Genki-san? Is that you? Now, you must confuse me with my adopted twin sister. My name is Genko. Adopted twin sister? What? I can't help but know Sola-san's mildly repulsed. And judging by your smell and the get up, I see you with that purple hair girl, right? Yeah, where did she go? She looked like she's gonna vomit in front of our other guests, so I ask it, esco, escort her outside. I told her to leave, but she said she was waiting for a friend. I'm guessing that's you? It sure is. Thanks, Kiko san. Kiko chunk. My pleasure. When I step outside, I merely spot Kuru-chan. Hey, thanks for waiting for me. I'm sorry I ran out in such a hurry. I just can't stand public restrooms. It's okay. Kuru-chan suddenly shoves her hand into her panties. What are you doing? You can't do that in public. View, they're still there. What? My tickets. My tickets to see summon the divorced princess pluck. I still have them. Oh right. I'm so relieved too, John. I was worried I had lost them. I'm sure glad you didn't. I had totally forgotten about the show. After all we've been, been through, seeing a puppet show sounds surprisingly interesting. Maybe you have a new le lease on life? It's almost like I'm looking at everything with fresh eyes. It's at this exact moment that my heart begins to beat faster and my sweat gland goes to maximal overdrive. Is this going to be a date? Am I going to date with Kuru-chan? Sure, we survived a torrent of demon monster together, but this is some next level shit. I think the greatest challenge is yet to come. It's been a few weeks since our sewer adventure, and tonight is the night I go on a date with Kuru-chan. At least I think this is a date. I didn't ask her explicitly. I had a lot of opportunity at school, but I always check it out. It's really hard for someone like me to just come out and say exactly what I'm thinking all the time. Actually, if I did, people would probably think I'm a mess. Anyway, right now I'm waiting for the front of the menu. I'm supposed to meet Kuru-chan here. She's running a late though, a little late though. It's not like her to be late. She's always the most punctual girl in the class. Speaking of class, Moku-san and Genki-san haven't been around very much lately. I think they've been playing hooky a lot. Oh what? Well, look who it is. Are you on your way to the burrito place too? Palace too? No. I don't think so, Kuru-chan. Moku-chan. They don't serve the Eldor Grande. I can't let these two ruin my night. Very funny, guys. Could you leave? What's the matter? You don't look you don't like a punk company? What's up with the clothes? You going somewhere fancy? I'm serious. I'm not in the fucking mood. Well, look who's the ice cream I've been rumbling off on you. To John, you're acting like a real snobby bitch. I bet she thinks she's uh, too good for us. Is that it, Tuchan? You think you're better than us? My patience are already worn out. After that, after having killed an old man and a multiple demonic creatures, I'm very tempted to just snap their necks and be done with this. I'm not going to let you ruin my night. Please just leave right now. What the hell are you talking about, nerd? Leave her alone. Oh, damn! Whoa, what are you doing here, Ice Cream? Oh my gosh, Kuchan looks so goddamn kawaii. I don't know if my heart can take this. Seriously, what's with the clothes? 
<laughs> you like going at Ice Cloud Supreme? Say what you want, what you about me, but lead to Chan alone. What's going on here? Why are you two dressed up so nice? Yeah, why are you on? On a date or something? Yes. What? I'm so sweaty right now, but got this warm and fuzzy feeling too. You hurt me. Are... Are you serious? Yes. Oh. Wow. Um... Heh, <laughs> well, uh... Okay. I guess, uh... Oh boy. It is hot in here or something? Maybe we should go. On a date? What? What? Nothing. I just, uh... Yeah, let's get out of here. That's a good idea. Healthy day? I have no idea. But that's... I know! Kuru-chan might have just beat Moku-san and Genki-san at their own game for the very first time. I think she might be a woman now or something. I'm a little wet <laughs> I'm a little wet. Kuru-chan, that was amazing! It was, wasn't it? Also, you look so great! Your outfit is fly as fuck, girl! Thank you, I'm sorry I was late. It took me a while to, uh, pick up my outfit. I wanted to look good for you. Am I dreaming? You do! No, I feel like a shop. Was it, was that shlob? Though, I don't look nearly as good as you do. You, you always look good. Christ, Sama, I think I'm transcending. You're gonna make me blush. You're already blushing. She got me there. So, when does the show start? Soon. Kuro-chan looks so giddy. I have a really good feeling about that night, of tonight. I can't believe I'm finally going with, to see my idols. I'm watching all my work on my, uh, Nicole video so many times. I think I, I know all the words. Oh, Nicole video! That's uh, like a popular video sharing uh, website like YouTube, except it's in Japanese. I had an account there. I'm uh, going to be seeing a new presentation tonight though. Oh yeah? They had a contest recently. One lucky fan gets to be a part of their show. Like, they're in the show themselves? That sounds awesome. Not exactly. They said they will uh, incorporate the likeness of their fan into the show. They'll be revealing the winner of the contest tonight. I hope you win, Kuru-chan! I can't win. Unfortunately, I never entered. I missed the deadline. The doors are opening! The doors are opening! Quick, let's get in so we can get some front row seats! Kuru-chan grabs my hand and brushes me inside. I never see Kuru-chan so happy before. This is exciting, I've never been to a show like this before. Shut up. The show is starting. Okay. I have no clue what's happening. I feel like the author is just trying to... What is that thing?
it's uh, Operation Iraq free of civilian casualties. <laughs> Oh, what? Why is her picture doing over here? Oh, 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 my mum, my mum, my mum, my mum, I am very disturbed right now. I don't, I don't know what it is. Was that Melkusan? I turned to Gauch Kuchal's reaction. She's in tears. I don't know how to interpret that. Are you okay? I'm conflicted. Well, that was the most beautiful things I ever seen. I just uncover a shocking truth. Yaki Soba san is the winner of the Simon the the divorce princess plot contest. I am jealous, confused, disturbed, and elated at the same time. Elated? What does that word mean? Good thing I have brought the Thoris. Elated, exactly, ecstatically happy. What? You're happy right now? Sort of. This means that perhaps somewhere deep down, there's still a chance that Yaki Soba-san could be my friend. I had no idea we were both fans. Maybe she will stop bullying us when I confront her with the truth. I suppose it's worth a shot? But I don't want to think of that right now, about that right now. Chan, that was an astonishing performance. I stole my breath away. I, I didn't really get it. I think it was really deep. Oh, it was extraordinary. I feel as though they message my very massage my very soul. How poetic! Would you like to step out for a moment, get some fresh air? Yeah, that'll be nice. Tonight has been pretty amazing. I'm so thankful Genki chan beat me all those days ago. If she hadn't, I probably wouldn't have been standing here with Kuru chan right now. I look up, the stars shine aboard this in this night nice sky. A cold breeze rolls across my face and I breathe deeply. I can smell Kuru chans perfume. She smells vaguely like coconut. A far cry from how stinky we both were in those sewers. Tu chan. Yes? Do you remember the promise I made you when you we were in the sewers a few weeks ago? I racked my brain for a moment, but I don't come up with anything. Memory loss can be pretty inconvenient sometimes. Can't say it I do. I hurt your shoulder, you asked me to kiss it and make it better. I think I still owe you that kiss. Crew John stepped close to me. Her head is pointing down. She, it looks like she's staring at her feet, but I can't s exactly see where she's looking. Her bangs are covering her eyes. Kuru-chan placed my, her hand on my shoulder and slowly slips my dress strap down. I can feel her breathe against my skin as her lips inch closer. She kissed my shoulder. Her mouth is worn and wet. I close my eyes and sigh. This feels amazing. She doesn't stop with just one kiss. She gives me another, and another. I can't tell how much crew she was letting go and opening up. It's like 10,000 words on her lips and she wants my skin to listen closely. Oh, what? Oh, what? Um, so am I... Did I successful daily, daily crew count in this walkthrough? This playthrough, I wrap my arms around her and pull her closer. No matter how close our bodies are, I feel like I want her closer. Her kiss starts to climb on my neck. I tinkle my fingers in her hair. I feel lightheaded and breathing heavily. 
It's so warm. There's no space between us. Two Chan, Kuro Chan. <laughs> I'm going to say it. I think, I think I love you. Kuro Chan removes the mouth of my neck. I'm sorry to hear that. I know I love you. I release a breath that I didn't realize I had been holding. Our eyes connect. I start tearing up. Why are you crying? I love you too. So wait, am I? Am I? I guess if you pay the money, you you would see some like blue scene, you know. After everything has happened, school has been pretty much the last time it was on my on the mind. Even so, the mundane reality of life comes crashing down on you when you least expect it to be. And so here I am. Today's the day of the big exam. My hands feel clammy. Ew, they are sweaty and gross. I'm really nervous. I didn't think I'd be this nervous before, but now that I'm actually here, I'm very nervous. I've spent so much time frowning over my new girlfriend that the exam didn't even cross my mind. Seriously, Kuruchan is amazing. I love that woman so much. It's amazing what a hellish sewer journey and a dull event guard socket puppet theater can do for a relationship. I decided to sit near the front of the class so I could maybe sneak a peek at some of the answers of Opai Sensei has them in the folder or something. I need every bit of help I can get. I'm not stupid, but I'm really I'm not really that smart either. I say I'm a pretty average person when it comes to academic performance. I'm sitting towards the front of the class. Kuruchan is sitting right behind me. I can smell her lovely fragrance from here. It's getting me a little excited. I hope I will be able to focus on the test. Mokusan and Gekisan are sitting in the back of the room like the liquids. I noticed Genki-san writing the formula and other notes on her desk with a pencil. Moku-san is right next to her, probably hoping to sneak a peek at Genki-san's answers. I just realized Moku-san is lazy, so she can't even cheat with initiative. Good morning, girls. Nice to see everyone sit here today. Not a single person is absent. This is great. Before we begin the exam today, I'd like to make a quick announcement. The exam is cancelled! No exam! You're all getting A's in every subject for the year thanks to your wonderful attendance records. I'm sure you all have a lot to say to me, but I actually need to step out for a moment. I can hear that I'm getting a phone call in the teacher's lounge. I'll be right back. Huh, that was pretty weird. The teacher's lounge is the third sub-basement of this building. How could she possibly have hearing that good? This is so dope! We get the last day of class off, we don't have to take that shitty test. You got that right! I was gonna bomb that shit for sure! I honestly don't care one way or the other. I nudge Kuruchan. Hey, why don't you tell her the thing? I don't know if now's the best time. Tell who what? Come on, what do you have to lose? Yeah, cover it up when I punch you in the face! My D for one. You can do it! Kushan size. Moku-san. Yeah. I know that you are a fan of SDBPP. What? what? I don't know what you're talking about. Are you blushing? No! Yes, you are! Are you keeping something from me, Moku-chan? This bitch is lying! Bitch, why are you lying? I saw you won the contest when I went to their show with Tuchan. What? Really? I can't believe they never told me. What's going on? How did you get tickets to the show? I couldn't even find a single online reseller. Nobody was even sell a ticket so precious. I waited in line for three days at their home ticket office. Fuck. I would have done that too. But this way, there's no way Amicha would let me. I really won the contest. You did. Mokusan began to dance around. Rev Revelry? She looks like a damn fool. 
But I'm actually kind of happy for it in a way. Can someone tell me what the fuck is going on? Moku-chan likes the same adult very guard sock puppet theater trope as Kuru-chan. Is this true, Moku-chan? Did she hear that shit? I won! I won! Moku-san continued to dance around the room, completely ignore her friend. I had no idea. I thought that kind of stuff was lame. Well, in that case... Moku-chan! Moku-chan suddenly sees her dancing. What? I like watching Mighty Mecha Ultra there. I said it. You say the show was for dorks, but I like it. The characters are surprising complex even though they seem shallow and stupid on surface. That's the point. It's supposed to be a commentary over overused tropes in the genre. genre. It's both a parody and a deconstruction at the same time. It's really cool. Wow. That's pretty that's so lame of you, Genki-chan. You don't want to talk! You want to fucking think contest for sock puppy nerds! Yeah, but at least I don't watch Mighty Mecha Ultra. Ha ha ha! Holy shit, you're such a dorkmeister! You were a mega loser! Ha ha ha! Shut up! Stop making fun of me! Mighty Mecha Ultra? Well, like Mikey, I miss my undies because you are such a fucking baby! <laughs> Stop it! I mean it! What the hell is going on? The hell is going on here? Obvious. Hello, fellow kids. What the hell? Who is this chick? Who are you? Why, I'm the class representative. Pretty rad how the old teacher canceled his exam. She is pretty awesome. Are you kidding me? Clearly you don't know my sister. Speaking of Pesensei, the class rep sure looks like a lot like her. I wonder why I'm getting that vibe. Oh, I know. It must be her possibly colossal... Gazongas. Uh, heh, yeah. Anyway... Now that we're all passing, guess there's no reason to hang around this dump, hey? Yeah, I'm really got not in the mood. Stick around here much longer. Great, you won't have to stick much around here at all. In fact, how does all expensive pay vacation in Okinawa sound? Seriously? Yeah. I'm definitely going. I never I will never I, I can never turn down something free. I guess I'll go. I always wanted to go to Okinawa. The beaches are the great, great for volleyball. What do you say, Kuran? And it was paradise with you, my love. I honestly can take her sometime. She's too perfect. Okay, we're in! Excellent. So everyone's on board? Let's head out. You mean right now? Yep, just follow me to the helipad on the roof. Our school has a helipad on the roof? What? I follow the class representative to the rooftop. I open the door to find a two flying Apache attack helicopter waiting for us. The real risk of two idling helicopters are incredibly loud. Okay! Hop in! Watch you ahead, though! The ceiling's really low in there! I nod my head. Wow, this is pretty crazy. I didn't expect the exam was gonna be cancelled today, let alone that I find myself being whisked away on a mysterious mystery vacation. I swing one of my legs inside the chopper. The entry hatching is higher than I expected. I try to vault in myself inside using the straight of my thighs, but, but I push off a little too hard. I bought my noggin right against the uh, metallic group. I pass out. Hmm, oh, that was interesting, if I had to say. You're right there. You pass out after you hit your head. Slept all the way through the helicopter ride. I was starting to think you were in a coma. Ouch, my head is still throbbing. I can feel some of the veins in my cranial area pumping with a lot of soothing. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna save and quit. It's time for me to go to sleep. It's I got I gotta 
I, I'm pretty tired, so. Uh, yeah, thank you for uh, always watching me. And I, for those, uh, I forgot who messaged me, like, uh, say that I help you a lot. The same thing could be said to you guys. I mean, I keep saying this, but it's true. My speech, I feel like I prove a lot. So, thank you guys for allowing me to do this and always, like, give me feedback. So, I really appreciate it. Um, well, anyways. I'll continue this all uh, maybe tomorrow. So thank you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out guys.